Now look, look, you could, you could say a whole lot of things about these Baltimore Ravens. You could say a whole lot of things about them. But one thing that you cannot say, and I won't let you even if you try, but one thing that you can never say about these Ravens, even when they're letting somebody go, they decide to move on from somebody, they do it in the cl- a lot of well, well, coaches. They do it in one of the classiest ways ever. And they usually sort of turn it and twist it to make it look like that person is stepping out on their own terms. And that's one thing I appreciate about them is that when it comes to coaches and coaches leaving, they let them, they allow them to leave with class. They allow them to leave with respect. And hey, who knows? Maybe it is really Greg Roman stepping away. Maybe the Ravens didn't decide that they wanted to go in a different direction. Maybe it is him stepping away. But either way, the way that the Ravens handle coaches being able to leave They always do it with class and it allows the coach if they want to pursue other opportunities, it doesn't make them look bad because if if you say, oh, we mutually agreed or they decided to step away. It's not like, hey, they, they got fired. No, 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 no. It pretties up that resume. So on their next for their next opportunity, it's like, oh, okay, hey, you ain't get fired. You left. But anyway, let's look into this uh, statement uh, from Athletes First. We'll read that. Then we'll read the Raven statement. Then we'll give our little two cents on the whole situation. Uh, anyway, it says, for immediate release, Greg Roman to pursue other opportunities. Uh, January 19th, 2022, after coaching the Baltimore Ravens offense to a third playoff appearance in four years, the Ravens offensive coordinator Greg Roman is stepping away from the team to pursue other opportunities. Roman's offenses while in Baltimore set a number of all-time NFL records, including the NFL record for rushing yards in a season, uh, rushing yards by a quarterback in a season, uh, average time in possession, uh, most games in a season with over 200 yards rushing, and most consecutive games with over 100 yards rushing. In addition, the Ravens' offense under Roman was the first in NFL history to have three 700-yard rushers in consecutive seasons and is still the only offense ever to average over 200 r- yards rushing and 200 yards passing in a season. So this got to be like, these got to be Greg Roman's agents or something. Because again, and, and I appreciate this because it's all part of the business. They putting the, the great spin on it. They telling you all the positives of Greg Roman. Hey, look at all these records that Greg Roman and this Ravens offense broke, which they did, which was great. It was fantastic. So shout out to G-Row for being a big part of that. So, but that's how, that's how you step away. That's how you leave. You leave and then you tell everybody, hey, I'm leaving, but when I was there, we did this. So if you want to hire me, look at what I accomplished. But let's continue. It also says, um, though this is from Greg Roman. After visiting with Coach Harbaugh and after huddling with my family, I have decided that now is the right time to move on from the Ravens so that I can explore new challenges and opportunities. My family would like to thank Steve Vishotti for the opportunity to be a part of this elite organization and for being the first class leader that he is. I would also like to thank John Harbaugh, who I respect as much as any head coach I have worked alongside. I learned a lot working for John and will carry those lessons forward. Also, Watched out, oh, excuse me, also watched our management team, uh, Dick Cass, Sashi Brown, Ozzy Newsom, Eric DaCosta, and many others run a sports franchise as smoothly and as well as one can be run. And I appreciate them allowing us to always remain focused on winning. Thanks also to the great coaches and tremendous support staff, too many to name. A special thanks to all the players I coached here. They brought in and let it rip and inspired me every day. And Baltimore fans are quite simply amazing. <laughs> I truly miss Baltimore, but at the same time, I am excited to attack my next opportunity with focus and passion. Named offensive coordinator by Harbaugh in 2019, Roman revamped Baltimore's struggling offense to best fit dynamic quarterback Lamar Jackson. The immediate results in 2019 were leading the league in points scored, breaking several all-time records for offensive production, MVP honors for Jackson, and AP's Assistant Coach of the Year award for Roman. When Jackson started, the Ravens were 45 and 16. Boy, that, I love this. I told y'all, like, I, I love football. I love the game of football. I love watching the games on Sundays, Saturdays, Wednesdays, Tuesdays, whenever the games be, be being played. But I love this just as much, the business side, because I love seeing little stuff like this, like this, like this, this exit letter, like first they go down 
First, they go down all the uh, the accolades for Greg Roman, and it's like, that's great. That's a good thing. And then it goes to Greg Roman directly, like, hey, I met with Coach Harbaugh. I met with all of them, and I decided I want to pursue other opportunities. Then that last paragraph, they said, I'm going to give you one more reminder just so you don't forget of everything that I accomplished. So they put some accolades in the beginning. Then Greg Roman gave his departure uh, letter, departure um, statement, and then they put even more accolades at the bottom. They're like, w watch this. We're saving the best accolades for last. I respect it. I respect it. I, I, I respect the game. Now, uh, let's look at the Baltimore Ravens statement, a, a statement from John Harbaugh. Uh, it says, Greg has led the development and success of a record-setting offense in Baltimore for several seasons. He is a tremendous football coach as well as family man in person. Greg devised and led our offense to no fewer than 26 historical NFL and franchise achievements. He established an identity for our offense. We are grateful for Greg's great work and abilities, and we wish him and his wonderful family the utmost happiness uh, going forward. So, again, like I said at the beginning from Jump, Ravens always normally like nine times out of 10 when it comes to coaches, they do this with class. They allow you to pursue other opportunities and they don't call it a firing. They don't ever do that. They don't. Ever, well, they hardly do that. Um, but I that's it just helps out the coaches that much more for whatever the next step is going to be, because it makes you look so much better. And that's like with a job, too. If you want you got a job or if you applying for a new job. And they were like, hey, what happened on your last job? Oh, I got fired. Oof, why'd you get fired? Or, hey, what happened on your last job? Oh, uh, we decided to mutually part ways. I just felt like there were other opportunities that we could pursue. And um, we, we had a great time. We had, we had an amazing time there. But uh, we just, we sort of outgrew each other. And I'm ready for that next step. Boom, it looks so much better and it sounds so much better. Just like that. So, shout out to the Ravens. Now. What are the Ravens going to do with offensive coordinator? I told you all. Now, while I, I did I did think this was Greg Roman's last year, but even though after the Broncos game, I wasn't really sure. I wasn't really sure because the Broncos game, they did have some fireable offenses in that Broncos game and then several other games after. And I was thinking, ooh, could they possibly extend Greg Roman? <laughs> that would be something. And, you know, Ravens, they just love to go against the grain so much. So I was a little worried about like, oh, man, what if they did give him an extension? All right, that's done. No, no extension for Greg Roman. He's out. All right, so what are you going to do now? I know so many Ravens fans are like, yeah, yeah, let's go. Greg Roman, he's gone. He's not the offensive coordinator anymore. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Let's go. Well, hold up there, buddy. Because... We've seen this story before. I try to tell people we've seen this story before. Well, Ravens, they get rid of an offensive coordinator and they just bring in another one that does all the same stuff. They've done this before. So now my biggest question for the Baltimore Ravens. OK, you moved on from Greg Roman. All right, cool. But Greg Roman is not the center of what the issue has been. Yeah, Greg Roman has been a part of it. Greg Roman has had his problems. He had has he has had his issues. But Greg Roman is not the issue. He was an he was an issue, but he is not the issue. The issue is John Harbaugh and his philosophy. Now, like we've said before countless times. All right, Greg Roman, he's gone. OK. Are you going to keep the same philosophy that you've had? Are you going to keep that same philosophy that has gotten you nothing since the Super Bowl 10 years ago? There have been coaches. There have been franchises that have fired coaches and that, those coaches have gone to other teams and gone farther than the Baltimore Ravens have in that time span. There have been franchises that have fired uh, coaches and the franchises, they've hired new coaches and they've gone farther than the Baltimore Ravens within that time span. But the Ravens have been stuck. They've been stuck in the same spot for years. And, and they just, the, the same philosophy. And it's been time for an upgrade with it for the longest. Now, are the Ravens actually going to pivot? Are they going to move? Are they going to shift the philosophy? Are they going to upgrade it? That's my question now. So, all right, Greg Roman's out. Okay. So, are uh, you going to bring in somebody else to do all the same stuff? And then is it going to just be this repeat cycle? Or are you actually going to shift? Are you actually going to invest in whoever 
your quarterback ends up being. Because it's not a given that it's going to be Lamar Jackson. Now, I do think this helps retain Lamar Jackson a bit. But in my opinion, this is not enough. This can't be enough. It's not. It shouldn't be enough. Because it isn't. Greg Roman being let go or Greg Roman moving on, however you want to say it, that's not enough. There has to be more. But I will take it because it is a start. It's a start, but this is only the beginning. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And we'll see what these Ravens do next. We out.